In the last video, we introduced the setting for pack propagation. In this video, we are going to start our derivation of the back propagation weight updates. Remember, the back propagation algorithm is used when we have a network of input, hidden, and output units, similar to what we are seeing on the right. And we are going to use this diagram to illustrate how the information is flowing and how the connections are made between the different units. We are going to assume that each of this unit is a sigmoid unit. So we are going to cons assume a network of sigmoid units for the purpose of deriving the back propagation weight updates. Note that it could be any unit. It could be tan H, it could be other complex units that can be fit into each of these units. And that's what makes neural networks special. This modular way in which you can extend this to include other functions and then have, have additional improved complexity and performance is what new, makes neural networks special. All right, so let's look at the diagram on the right. So we have here inputs, outputs labeled, and then we also have a layer in between, which we will call the hidden layer, right? And now we have an error function, the first equation on the left. So where we have half, sigma over training examples, D belong to capital D, sigma over K belong to outputs, TKD minus OKD, the whole square. Now, if we remember correctly, we only had different training examples and we did not have the summation over outputs when we derived weight updates for the sigmoid unit and perceptron unit. Now think about it, it's just one unit, right? So there is only one output associated with those units. Now we have a network of units and we have many nodes in the output. For instance, we have these many nodes in the output in the right, right? So here, to calculate the combined error, we have to sum over the error corresponding to each of these outputs. So we have to sum over all the error that all these outputs in total contribute to, to understand the total error. So this, the number of outputs here is given by K. And D is the number of training examples. For each training example, we are going to feed them here. These are the different features. And then they are going to transform in the hidden layers, go traverse these connections and pass on to the hidden layers and uh, more computation will be performed there. And then they are going to pass on to the outputs and then our output is going to come out of each of these output nodes. And here for each data example, D, the output in the kth unit is going to be O, K, D. K, kth output of D example. Now we are going to use the stochastic version of gradient descent to simplify our calculations. So the next step on the left is error corresponding to each data example D. So E D of W because we are going to make our updates after each training example. After seeing one example, we are going to make one update. So the error is now calculated with respect to each training example. Now E D of W is nothing but half of sigma or k belong to outputs, t k minus ok the whole square. So we 
are only looking at the error for that training example. So the summation over D goes away and we remove that from the first equation, we get the second equation.